Welcome back to the channel and to episode 22 of 2K22's Things You Might Not Know. As always, for any episodes you might have missed, check out the series playlist linked now on the screen. And here we go once again, let's get into it. More secrets, easter eggs, hidden features and awesome details. This is more things you might not know about WWE 2K22. So let's kick this one off with even more environmental carry moves, this time in combination with the steel cage. So when using the system inside of a steel cage match, when you approach the cage using each of the four positions, a different move can be done by pressing either circle on PlayStation or B on Xbox. These four moves include a slam, a snake eyes, a fireman's carry throw, as well as this power bomb. Next up is just a small one, but a nice detail to give a mention to, which is visual chest and body damage. Whilst this one isn't a new thing for the 2K series, it is a thing that 2K22 does do fairly well. So when you target these areas of your opponent during a match, over time it will show some visual damage. Here we've got a shot at the start of the match. And here is a shot after numerous chest and body shots. Another one that whilst isn't new, still could be a thing that newer players still might not be aware of, which is the playable trombone. So whether as a manager or via a pre-match breakout, Xavier Woods trombone can be used during a match. To do this, pick it up as if it was a weapon, then press strike to trigger the audio. Fortunately, you can't actually use it as a weapon, so no hitting your opponent with it, but rather use it more so as a taunt. It comes complete with two different bits of audio. Previously in the series, we have covered this year's brand new barricade breaks that still remain an awesome thing to do. To add to that list today is another move that you might not know also works in combo with it, which is Roman Reigns Spear. So when your opponent is in position as seen on the screen, hit your opponent with the spear and with a bit of luck, it will send your opponent crashing through the barricade. Now as far as I could tell, this spear is the only spear that actually works to do it, which also can be done from the opposite side in the crowd as well. So whilst the OMG barricade spear is no longer a thing, it can at least be done by using this method. Next up, we have got a fourth wall break easter egg for the 2009 version of Dolph Ziggler. So when Ziggler makes his entrance, Corey Graves will say how he's met Ziggler multiple times backstage, with Michael Colt then pointing out that Graves wasn't actually in the WWE during that time. I don't know what to make of this guy. He's been walking around backstage for weeks, introducing himself and shaking everybody's hand. I've met him like four times now. Well, Corey, it just means he has good manners. Now the problem with all this, Corey, is you met him in like this alternative universe because in 2009, you weren't actually even in the WWE locker room. That's true. That's accurate. This all took place in my imagination. Another audio one up next, although this one is more of a minor one, but we're now talking about The Rock and the People's Elbow. So as you likely know already, the move comes complete with its own pretty cool audio. But what you might not know is that when someone else other than The Rock does the move, the commentary will actually acknowledge it. Uh oh, we're gonna see it! The most electrifying move in all of entertainment! Oh, I mean, we're not talking about The Rock. Moving on, and up next, a very cool and potentially lesser known entrance and victory motion that features a vehicle. So this one is a set for tag teams, although it is better suited for when using a superstar with a manager. The motion we're talking about is the rider motion, 
which sees the superstar brought to the ring in this very cool Mad Max style buggy during the entrance, with the victory scene then showing your superstar leaving in it. Last up today, we have got some bonus and a brand new catch and finishers for 2K22. So bonus catch and finishers are not a new thing for 2K22, but they do remain an awesome thing to do. And this year's game even features some entirely brand new ones. So if you're not familiar, what this essentially is, is doing a reversal of a top rope dive, such as a crossbody or a harakarana, catching your opponent, then transitioning into your finisher with the carry system. So some moves that look especially awesome as a bonus catching finisher include the Styles Clash, Batista Bomb, Razor's Edge, the KOD as well as brand new ones for this year's game which include the helicopter Bulldog's brand new power slam. As well as one of my favorites, Walter's brand new power bomb, which is Power Bomb 10. As always, share me in the comments things to cover in future episodes. Stay tuned for more like this. Come into the channel soon. And until next time, this has been 101, and I will see you all on the next one.